What's up guys? Welcome back to another lesson, this time about C data types. So what are data types? Data types are declarations for memory locations. It is your application's way of telling the operating system to reserve a space in the RAM. They act as variables that determine the characteristics of data that may be stored. We can compare it to different water containers that can hold different volumes of water. Also, data type determines the methods of processing that are permitted involving them. Basic data type in C are car, int, float, and double. The first data type is car. It typically stores only one character. It can be alphabet, number, or special characters. We declare it using the car keyword. Values are assigned by enclosing in a pair of single quotation marks. We use percent %c as format specifier like when we use it for printf and scanf. Let us look at this example. Pause the video for a while and do it in dev C. Running the application, we see the result like this. What if we try to type more than one character? The application will truncate it to just one character. The next data type is int. It's store numeric values, specifically integers, which means positive whole numbers, negative whole numbers, and zero, with various storage size of 2 bytes, for the sign ranging from positive to negative 32,767, or for the unsigned, 0 to 65,535. 4 bytes for the sign from negative to positive 2,147,483,647 or for the unsigned 0 to 4,294,967,000 or for the unsigned 8 bytes for the sign ranging from negative to positive 9 quintillion, 223 quadrillion, 372 trillion, 36 billion, 854 million, 775,807. Or for the unsigned, 0 to 18 quintillion, 446 quadrillion, 744 trillion, 73 billion, 709 million, 551,615. We can use percent %d or percent %i as format specifier, like when we use it for printf and scanf. Let us look at this example. Pause the video for a while and do it in dev C. Running the program, you see this output. If you try to input decimals, it will truncate the value and will just display the whole number. The next data type is float. It also stores numeric values, but this time with decimal, with maximum of 6 digits after the decimal point. We can use percent %f as format specifier, like when we want to use it for printf and scanf. Try to do this example. Pause the video for a while and do it in Dev C. Running the application, you see this result. You will notice that this time we are seeing decimal values. The last data type is double. It also stores numeric values with decimal, but this time with maximum of 10 digits after the decimal point. We can use percent %lf as format specifier when we want to use it for printf and scanf. Pause the video for a while and try this example. Mm -hmm. 
Running the application, we come up with this result. You will notice that yes, it displays decimal, but still it has only 6 digits after the decimal point. So modifying the code, like this one, will yield the result that we expected. So that ends our introduction to C data types. Next meeting, we'll talk about types of C operators, such as arithmetic operators, assignment operators, relational operators, logical operators, bitwise operators, conditional or ternary operators, increment and decrement operators, and special operators. See you next week! That's it! Please don't forget to hit the like button, share this video, click subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss any new upload. Till next time and see you soon!